and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I hope that you are faring well in the midst of pandemic. Today, I'm going to teach you something that I think every makeup lover should know, and that is how to achieve the perfect red lip. I'm gonna take you step by step through the routine that I like to do and kind of the thoughts that I like to have when I'm planning a red lip. First, you wanna think of your outfit. Does this outfit call for a more cool tone lip, a more warm, warm tone red lip? And also you wanna think of your own complexion. Are you more of a neutral, yellow, cool, pink? What are you? So I fall under the skin category of like a neutral fair. Um, I'm like almost leaving the fair to like an early, early medium skin tone. So I like to mostly wear a warm tone red lip. So I do a lot of oranges or if I do a true red, it's almost like a true red with more kind of orange instead of having like that super bright blue. Though there are a few really good, just true blue undertone reds that I love. I'm gonna show that to you guys today. Also something fun about this video is that I have a ton of affordable products in this video. So if you guys don't like to spend a lot of money on your makeup and you wanna try something new, I have a ton of options for a red lip and for highlighters and for things that go well with a red lip that you can try and buy at home. So let's jump into it. I already have my base on. I did my foundation and my concealer and I did that as normal so I didn't feel like I needed to show it. The only thing that when you're thinking of wearing a red lip that's really important to think about in your base is that you wanna cancel out any red you already have in your skin. So that's things like scars or in general if you have a red skin tone. So for that, I love the CC Pear, CC Pear uh, Derma Green Solution by Dr. Jart. It's it's really interesting. It's like a moisturizer, a color corrector, and an SPF and primer all in one. So if you have all over like pinky undertones, and this is a great, great product for you just every single day before you put your foundation on to cancel out any of those red tones. So for me, I have like a little blotchiness from, you know, past acne around my chin. So I just took this and I just smeared it over my chin. I just used my fingers, looks like this, and pretty much I just rubbed it in pour normal. And as you rub it in, it gets really sticky and it makes like a really, really nice place for your makeup to stick. So I highly recommend this product. And I also say the first step before getting that perfect red lip is just canceling out all the red in your skin. So I've done that. And then the second step is to do a lip scrub, which I've also already done. So I love this Lush one. I've been buying it for years. Um, this is honey. They have a few different flavors. I think they're like eight or nine dollars each. If you don't want to run out and buy one or you're doing like you're thinking about a sugar scrub, you can also take just some granulated sugar. You can use organic. You can use, you know, a, a larger crystal or whatever kind of sugar you want to use and then add either a little bit of coconut oil or a little bit of olive oil and you can just scrub that on your lips as a lip scrub. The reason it helps you achieve a perfect red lip is to get all that extra dry skin off and it's just gonna give your lips a nice even texture to, to lay that red lip on because red lips can be a little bit drying and they will definitely sew texture if you have any. After I scrub my lips, I love this Laneige, Laneige lip sleeping mask. It's $30 so it's like kind of pricey for a bomb, but you honestly get a ton of product and like I cannot, I cannot live without this. I've heard about it for years and I only just recently got it. As you can tell, it's been barely used and I will never sleep without this product again. It is so softening, it feels so good and it stays on your lips for so long. Like with chapstick, I'm constantly, constantly like reapplying and with this, it just stays on and I love it. So definitely while you're doing your makeup before you actually get to your lip, after the scrub, put on a really nice thick chapstick and just like blob it on and let it sit in there and absorb while you're doing the rest of your makeup. So let's get into makeup, but before, here's my quarantine drink of choice today. It is a white wine. I told my sister <laughs> when she was going to the store the other day to get me some and she brought back this literally ginormous barefoot Chardonnay, hashtag not sponsored. And that is what we're drinking over here today. Typically when I do a red, no matter the shade, I like to really play up like the bronze and like the yellow tones in my skin. 
One way that I do that is adding a lot of gold and a ton and a ton of bronzer. So first step is I'm gonna take this ColourPop highlighter. Um, this is one of their new, newer ones. It's called Champagne Bubbles and I love it. It is, it's like a serum-y highlighter. And basically I just take a little pump, I put it on my hand and with my finger, I kind of just dab in your normal C motion. This one happens to dry down a lot. So I'll kind of put it like that. So you see it's in a C and then I'll get the other side. I'll do like a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the lip, as you can see. And then I'll take the brush that you can buy with it. This is also a ColourPop brush. They sell it on their site. And in circle motions, I would just blend that in. I'm gonna take my finger and kind of blend it a little more. So this one, like I said, really dries down. You have to move fast with it, else it's just gonna be there. But I love it because of how gold it is. It makes like the skin look really nice with the red. So as you can see, I'm super glossy. I even got it in my eyebrow a little bit. The next step on my face is giving a little bronze up. One bronzing cream stick that I love, and it's super affordable. I think this is an NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. I think this is also like $8, and it's really pretty. Um, it has a little cream product there, and I just put it on as I normally would a highlight. And it looks like a lot, but it like seriously blends out super easy, and it has like a little bit of sheen in it so that it gives you a dewy glow too. You just take a little foundation brush and I just begin to sweep that product upward. If it gets a little patchy like it is here, then what I do is I take a little more product on the brush and I kind of press it in because sometimes with affordable products, they will kind of strip off some of your makeup. Um, so this one, I'm gonna just press it in because it got a little blotchy right here. All right, after that, I'm gonna go back over these cream products with a little bit of powder. Today for my powder highlight, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder in Precious Petals. So this is actually a really amazing dupe for Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. As you can see, it's kind of like also a bronzy, goldy highlighter. And like I said, when I wear red, I like to really play up bronziness and goldiness. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this because this ColourPop is so flashy and just swirl a little bit in a C and under my eyes, which I learned from Hilary Duff if you watched my last video. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the cheek too, why not? I just wanna be really glowy. Super, super flashy. After that, I'm gonna go back in with some powder bronzer. Today I'm gonna be using the Smashbox LA Lights Contour Palette. I don't even actually know if they make this anymore, but I really like the bronzer in it. It's called Rich Bronze. It's a really nice like matte, super neutral. It's not too warm, so it works for my fair skin. And I'm just gonna put on a big fluffy brush and go back over. So normally with bronzer, I keep it just on the cheek, but when I do a red lip, I actually like to bronze like my cheek a little bit because I do very, very little blush. I just personally find that when I do red lip and I try to add a blush, the blush ends up looking really pink and really mismatched with my bronzer. I do have two blushes that I think are okay, but when I do red lip, I really like to keep the face really bronzed and really highlighted and get the color just all right here. I just think that looks really good. So I'm gonna do a little bit on my cheek. If I do any blush at all, and I will for the sake of this video, I will use MAC. This is Gingerly. It um, looks just kind of nude in the pan, but on the cheeks it actually does pull like pretty orange, and I think it looks good with the reds that I normally wear. Then I also really love this note called Desert Rose. I actually got this in a BoxyCharm once, and it is by far my favorite blush I've ever used with red lips. So I'm gonna use this one today. <sighs> I've already filled. Take a little fluffy brush, pat off the excess, and I'm just gonna go on the cheeks. Okay, 
So this is already more than I wanted. I like to do very, very light blush when it comes to red. So I'm just gonna kind of blend it out a little bit. Since that was more blush than I wanted, I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and blend it in more so that it's not as prominent. Next, with a red lip, we're gonna talk about eyeshadow. So if you do opt in to wear eyeshadow, which you definitely do not have to, a red lip looks amazing with just black eyelashes. I think it's really French, I think it's really fresh. But today I'm kind of just showing you guys the full spectrum of how I achieve a really good red lip. And so with the eyes, I will also continue on that like bronze and gold theme. So I'm gonna start out using this Glossier Skywash in Palm. I'm super into these eyeshadows. They come on really blotted and you can use your hands and they're super user friendly. So definitely recommend this. So I like to just put it all over the lid and then I take my ring finger and I just blend out. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom too, so my eye just has a little more definition. I'm just gonna take this and just like roll a little bit of product on my hand. And with a little flat precision brush, I'm gonna dip into it and then just go underneath the eye. So you can also just use your favorite bronzer or your favorite eyeshadow for this look. You don't need to buy this product if you don't want to. Next, I'm just gonna do some mascara and I'll just go ahead and do that off camera because I'm not using any technique outside my regular. I am back and my mascara is on. As you can tell, sometimes with my mascara, it kind of happens naturally, but it's also a little purposeful, is I do like a really messy bottom eye where I just like allow the mascara to build up right here. So I did that now. Now, we're getting into the tea. We're getting into why y'all are here. So I'm gonna do five lipsticks. And to give you an idea of what I'm talking about of the warm tones versus cool tones, I'm gonna arrange them from warmest to coolest. And so the first one I'm gonna start off with is this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. This is in vitamin C. Um, as you can see, this is warm tone. It's like almost like a muted red. It's pretty peachy looking. I love the ColourPop Ultra Blotted formula because it gives you that blotted lip that has been so on trend. So it's a little see-through. It dries down to like a super powdery matte. I'm gonna show you how I like to do that. First, I'm gonna start with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Pencil. This, this is in shade Call Me Crazy. We love that for ourselves. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. All right, even when I'm wearing a formula that's like semi see-through, like a blotted lip, I still like to put lip liner because I want it to look diffused, but I also still want it to look defined. So I put on it just on the outer sides and then just like, you know, kind of blur it out a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with this guy. So as you can see, as I as it was drying down, I was kind of cleaning up a little bit and just blending it more into this lip liner so it looks more of like a diffused lip and I don't look like my lip liner is so much darker than the rest of my face. So this is color number one. All right, next is one of my all time favorite lip looks and that is a bright orange. I think it is so classy. It is one of my go-to things day or night. It can work whenever. And literally my all-time favorite orange that I keep coming back to, I've bought in more expensive products than this, but it is the Wet n Wild uh, Purdy Persimmon. This is maybe $3. I've gone through two of them. My sister actually discovered it and told me about it when I was like 20 years old and since then it's just been my go-to. I have YSL oranges, I have Kylie, I have a bunch of different oranges, but this one is the one I always go back to. So I'm gonna use this lip liner again. And actually I'm gonna start with the lipstick. So something that I've recently been into is doing my lipstick first and then going with the lip liner if I'm using like a regular bullet style lipstick because you like get that definition. So we're just gonna go in. And so now I'm gonna line the outside. And something that's really important in having the perfect red lip when you start using just a regular formula that doesn't dry down is putting a little concealer and powder underneath the lip. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. 
I like to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I will spin a little bit, about that much. And then I take my handy dandy concealer brush, I dip it in and I just like to go underneath. So you can see I'm really carving it out and then you wanna wipe it to make sure there's not any more red on it and then you can dip back in, do the other side. Now use your concealer brush or if you have a fluffy side like I do, this is a dual ended brush from Sephora. I love it, I've had it for years. I'm just gonna blend underneath. So now it just looks super clean. It looks like the lipstick was just made for me and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder to set it and then that will just make sure that it doesn't bleed all day and it stays really nice and just looks like you are born with this lip. You can take any kind of setting powder that is your favorite and then I just like to use my blending sponge, my beauty blender. I take the tiniest amount on the tip and just kind of go underneath it. And you can go ahead and wipe off any excess. And that is it. I guarantee you, your lipstick will stay all day and look just so perfect and defined. This is like my biggest trip. It is trick. <laughs> it is worth concealing and then out of the pundit, adding that wine is getting to me y'all adding the powder underneath so that it's just set it'll not bleed it'll stay on and it'll feel really comfortable right. and our next color we're getting in a little bit more to our true reds so this is like one of my all-time favorite reds it is a mac bullet lipstick it is from the viva la glam collection it's matte and oh i guess that's the title is viva la glam so i've had this for <laughs> probably like six years, but it's about as close you come to like a neutral red. It's not too blue undertone and it's not too red undertone. It is a great, great color. I love it. And I bought Brick, which is one of their lip pencils, also MAC, with it when I originally bought it. So same thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply this one first and then I'm gonna go over it with the lip liner. Same thing, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit with concealer. And there you have one of my all-time favorite red lips. And because this one's more of a neutral one, I did wanna show you guys another little secret of something I really like to do, which is put a gold eyeshadow on it. So, this is a Laura Mercier caviar stick. It is just a uh, bomb, I guess, cream eyeshadow stick and this is one of my all-time favorites it is in rose gold and it's just a really pretty champagne -y, but also warm undertone looking gold and for that i'm just gonna apply it right on top of the glossier and close to my lash line to just give this a little more of a glam vibe so that's something i like to do a lot if i'm wearing more of like a darker kind of old hollywood more glamorous red lip I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. And then using this stick, I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye. Here, I will put this back so you can see. And there you have it. That's kind of an easy way if you wanna go from day to night, you just turn it up with a little bit of sheen. And that's the eye look, if you can see. Now we are getting into the true, true reds. And that is a bright red with a blue undertone. It's kind of like the most classic Hollywood Marilyn Monroe red. And one of my all time favorites is this little Sephora guy. It's just sample size, but it's lasted me like three plus years because I don't wear it every day. It is one of their cream lip stains and this one is called 01. It's called 01 and it is just a perfect true red. It looks good on every skin color. I swear to you, the formula is amazing. It dries down, but it's comfortable. It's um, pretty emollient, so it's not super drying to your lips. You don't need a lip liner. It's just so easy to use. I highly recommend. It's also a good price. I think it's only nine or $18. I know nine times two is 18 or a little different, but it is an affordable one. And I've seen it on many different women with all different skin colors. So I'm gonna show you guys that one. And like I said, this is like the classic true red. 
So with liquid lips, I love them because they are super long lasting, but you also get to really manipulate the shape of your lips. So if you want fuller lips, liquid lips is gonna be your best bet where you're not constantly touching up, where it's not bleeding. And as you see, um, once I put it on, I always like go and dab the middle and that just kind of gives it like a really nice diffused look so there's not too much product on there it's also going to help it last longer throughout the night so this one it totally dries down you can eat and drink with it the only thing that's really going to start disintegrating it is oil so if you like go to eat a hamburger it's going to come off <laughs> no liquid lip is a lifesaver but things like if you're drinking out of a glass um, why did it already out of a stain? But let's see. Test. Okay, a little bit tiny came off. It's not all the way dried down yet. I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer again. Okay, here it is. My lipstick is starting to look a little bit blurry just because I keep having to like wipe it off and then reconceal. But this is one of my favorite all time two reds. Highly recommend. Last but certainly not least is this MAC. Toledo collection. It was like a limited edition when they did and I'm so glad I snagged it because it's literally one of my all time and probably my most interesting red. It is definitely my coolest tone but it also has like these strong pink undertones. So the result is that it looks really bright red. It is like that classy Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse red. It's just super bright. This one is called Matte Victoria. Victoria Anna and I'm gonna show you guys it. I also when I bought it I purchased this Kiss Me Quick MAC lip liner and so this is the one that I always like to use with it. It is also like a red and pink undertoned lip liner. So I'm gonna start off with this guy. I love this one. I love it. It's so classic. All right, you guys, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I super love making these for you guys. I hope that you learned not only how to pick the best red for your face, but also get a better understanding of what the undertones are, how they work on skin color, how they reflect, and kind of like a lip liner um and lipstick pairing i hope it was very educational and i hope that it just helps you achieve and pick out your best red lip yet i hope you enjoyed this and please leave comment and feedback below i'm always open to hearing from you guys for ideas and things that you want to see and please follow me on instagram at gabriella with three a's nicole with an h it is the french way i am not french but that is my middle name and i will see you guys next time bye